Hello, my name is Simon Pearce and I'm an endocrinologist from Newcastle and I've got some advice uh, for people with steroid dependency about uh, how to stay well at the moment. Uh, so first of all, preparations. Make sure you've got enough hydrocortisone in the house uh, to take into account the fact you'll likely have to double dose for a while. So say have a, at least an extra month's uh, supply uh, available and if you haven't got that, contact your GP or your endocrinologist immediately and uh, get those extra tablets available. Also, you should have some injection vials uh, available. We normally recommend at least two or three uh, hydrocortisone, 100 milligrams uh, for injection. And also make sure you're familiar with how to inject yourself. And uh, if you're self-isolating with family members or friends, make sure they also know how to inject you if necessary. The links to the videos to show how to do this are at the end of uh, the slides. So increasing the hydrocortisone uh, dose just because someone uh, in your family has uh, COVID-19 uh, is a waste of time. It won't stop you getting ill. You should only increase the dose if you start to become ill. So what do sick day rules look like uh, when you've got COVID-19? Well, it's just the same as normal, really. Uh, so if you have a, a high temperature over 37 and a half degrees, or you're feeling very hot or very cold, uh, then you should double your hydrocortisone dose. If you're feeling very tired, sleepy, exhausted, also double your dose. And uh, the new thing with COVID is if you have a persistent dry cough, which is one of the typical signs of uh, the disease in more than 90% of people, you should also uh, double the dose. Uh, as well as doubling the dose, and we'll come on to what that means, uh, you should also take uh, paracetamol, that's two 500 milligram tablets every six hours and try to do that religiously as long as your temperature remains high. And also it's really important, particularly for people with steroid dependency, to keep well hydrated. So that means uh, drinking a glass of water every hour if you can manage that. So immediately you start to feel unwell, you should take a double dose, 20 milligrams at a minimum or perhaps more if you're taking, um, if that's less than a double dose for you. And then after that initial double dose, take 10 milligrams every six hours. So uh, if you still feel rubbish uh, and poorly despite the double dose and you feel it's not uh, doing it for you, uh, then it's uh, okay to increase the dose further. And although in principle it looks like a triple dose, what we generally recommend is just decreasing the time between the tablets. So take 10 milligrams every four hours instead of every six hours with a double dose. So that will give you uh, 60 milligrams in the day and, it, and if you're still feeling poorly, even on 60 milligrams in a day, that's four hourly 10 milligram tablets. We'll go down to three hourly 10 milligram tablets, which will give you 80 milligrams uh, in the day. So that's the way to keep it going. And if you need to set an alarm to take a tablet in the middle of the night because you're feeling rubbish, just do that. So make sure it's a good thing to use alarms on your phone to make sure you get the paracetamol as well as your hydrocortisone uh, at the required uh, time intervals. So warning signs, certain uh, things particularly concern me. If you start to feel very dizzy when you sit up or stand up from bed, or if you feel very, very thirsty, that probably means you're dehydrated uh, and you may need to go into hospital to have a drip. Uh, if you're feeling very cold or shaking uncontrollably, also if you become drowsy, too sleepy to really wake up, uh, or if or if you wake up and you're confused, you don't know where you are, or you can't talk coherently, uh, those things uh, also um, mean you're starting to get into more severe trouble. Uh, if you're vomiting, you won't be able to take your uh, hydrocortisone tablets. Um, and also with the COVID specifically, if you get increasingly short of breath, rapid breathing, and particularly if you can't finish a sentence or you can't talk normally because you have to pause to catch your breath in between what you're saying, uh, then uh, 
uh, that means you need to be in hospital. So what you should do uh, for any of those scenarios is inject yourself immediately with 100 milligrams of hydrocortisone in your leg, in your tummy, uh, perhaps in your bum or arm if you find that preferable and then ring 999 to get an ambulance uh, to take you to hospital. So you, during the time when you're uh, feeling you're improving but aren't fully better, you should continue your uh, double dose of hydrocortisone, your paracetamol if your temperature is still high and still maintain good hydration by drinking regularly uh, if you can. So just keep that going until you really feel substantially better like you've turned the corner and uh, you know, you're 80% back to normal. Uh, if you don't go back to normal though, after seven, or if you're feeling worse, uh, after seven to nine days, that's the time where uh, you may be developing COVID pneumonia and you may need to go to hospital. So that would be you're feeling increasingly short of breath, rapid breathing, can't, can't talk normally, or you just generally feel terrible, blacking out, dizziness, confusion, uh, and uh, your friends or your family can't wake you up, uh, that will be a case where you should uh, seek medical attention and go to hospital. So the questions everyone's asking, uh, you should definitely socially isolate, uh, don't go to work, take care around the house, have your own hand towel, wash your hands frequently, don't share a toothpaste tube, don't share cups or bowls with anyone else, just do the sensible things that everyone else is doing. Bear in mind that increasing hydrocortisone before you've become ill won't help you at all, so there's no need to do that. Keeping up with paracetamol and regular fluids is, is equally important to keeping a double dose of hydrocortisone uh, while you're poorly. The other thing that people ask about is fluidocortisone. There's no need to double your fluidocortisone while you're poorly. You can just stay on the same dose. And in fact, if you're taking more than 50 or 60 milligrams of hydrocortisone a day, it's probably fine to leave your fluid cortisone out altogether at that time. So please stay safe, take the precautions, take extra hydrocortisone, and further information is available uh, from these sources.